is a heart-wrenching story that could really happen to any of us. Imagine your home is ruined when a sewer line ruptures and just floods the place. You may remember that's what happened to this Glassport family's home, which they ultimately had to tear down. And nearly two years later, they're still out of a home and fighting for compensation. Pittsburgh's Action News investigator Bofta Imam joins us with more. Bofta. Uh, yeah, this is devastating. Before this all happened, the Wabiki say their insurance company valued rebuilding costs at $172,000, not even including personal property. But they haven't received anywhere near that. In fact, each time they've made an offer, Glassport's counsel has turned them down. And as this drags out, taxpayers are paying for the problem. This isn't over. We don't have a home. Joanne Warbicki's home used to be right here, but now this empty plot serves as a reminder of loss. Her family's life suddenly turned downhill nearly two years ago. We lost stuff that we're never going to get back that was in that basement. Um, videotapes of the kids, uh, antique tables. A sewer line owned by the borough busted under their home. Flooding sewage filled their basement, and the home was condemned. In the midst of it, her husband, shown here. And then the floor went, and water started squirting out of the floor. Suffered a heart attack. They did wrong. They need to own up that they did wrong, and they need to give us what we're entitled to. After the problem surfaced, even the former mayor said this. This family can expect that the borough will be taking care of all of the costs associated with this problem? Yes, we will. That's a guarantee? Uh, that's, the end, that's the end of the interview. Since then, the borough has given the family $25,000 to gain title to the property, says the family's attorney. I've never seen a case that's taken this long to be settled, knowing that liability is not a question. Clearly, liability lies on the part of the borough. Now, the Warbickies filed a civil suit for negligence by the borough for failure to maintain their sewer lines. They're asking for damages totaling more than $150,000. It was a sewer that collapsed, and the solution from the borough's part was to clog it. Let's just dump gravel and dirt in there, and the problem will go away. Before they filed this latest lawsuit, the Warbickies say they asked counsel for $87,500, but they say counsel refused. We asked this councilman why. We have made a decision, and we're going to stick with it. What's the reason behind the decision that you've made? I really have no comment. At any point, council could turn this around and help this family. I have nothing to say, except that what I think we uh, we did make a fair offer. They need to get off their butt. They, they need to what? They just need to move on it. Who the Warbickies or the borough? Come on, leave me alone, will you please? Councilman Norelli refused to disclose details of the offer made to the Warbickies and says the borough is taking advice from its lawyer. The new mayor wouldn't say much either, citing the pending litigation. So initially, I did make a comment that I'd like to see it taken care of as soon as possible. Well, apparently, the offer that was made was not sufficient. So what do you think but this I'm says about the borough and how they uh, back up their residents here? We back up the residents 100 percent. What's more, we've learned borough funds did not pay for the bulk of repairs to the sewer line. The Federal Emergency Management Agency did. So far, the borough has received more than 100,000 FEMA dollars for things like demolition and the sewer line repair. According to the borough solicitor, Gary Matta, the grants were due to extreme weather conditions that caused damages to that sewer line. None of the grants were able to be applied for the home or property items. Matta says they're waiting on an additional FEMA grant for $124,000. That grant would include reimbursement to the borough for the $25,000 they initially gave the Werbikis. We've been living on the uh, top floor, which is an apartment. Despite it all, Werbiki is grateful they've been able to stay here at their in-laws, a home they hope to now buy. Well, will I leave Glassport? No, I will not leave Glassport. I am not intimidated by these people. Yeah. Now, Mattis says the Board of Viewers placed the home's value at $40,000. He says council offered $75,000 to the family, but the Warbickies rejected that. The Warbickies say they never got that offer, and it's not enough anyway to cover the total cost of rebuilding placed at $172,000. Mm. Okay, Bob, so now everybody goes to court in this case, and taxpayers, will they be footing the bill for that? Yes.
and it's expected that jury trial in about six months. So, of course, have an update. Yeah, yeah, yeah and you want to underscore this was not their fault. Mm -hmm. This was not their fault. This was not their fault. I wonder how that mayor would feel if it was her home. Mm. Never know. All right. Thank okay. you very much, Bofta.